hello what's up and welcome to the channel in today's video guys i'm gonna do a full setup guide on how to fix the errors for the rmd users and the nvidia users for super mario kart on the latest simu build 1.13.0 we're gonna go from 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 the first error to the last error as possible and from the first fix to the last fix uh, that is to actually fix on the CMU 1.13.0 and uh, for the, uh, of course, for the AMD and the NVIDIA users. Um, the people actually complaining on uh, my videos, for some people they have two guides, um, for some people they worked, for some others they didn't. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to do my best to uh, get your game running on your PC, if, if everything that I'm gonna show you after uh, in this video doesn't work, then I do highly ad uh, advise you to buy actually a Wii U and play Super Mario Kart or you buy a Switch um, like I did right here, like I did guys, and play it on the Switch and uh, yeah, get, get your game up. But any further guys, um, let's hop to my desktop and let's get this shit running. First, first of all, step one. To get your Mario Kart 8 for uh, Simu 1.13.0 running, the first step is you we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the settings on Simu 1.13.0. You go to the Simu folder, go to Simu, double click it. Um, yes, close the window. Uh, close the window. Like I did, I'm gonna make a full screen of that so you can see as best as, as good as possible. So the first thing you wanna do is go to option. Go to GPU buffering cache, accu cache accuracy, set it to low fast, go to general, general settings, leave general settings, the general thing, uh, the general settings, leave it as it is, go to graphics, what you're gonna, what you're gonna need to do is enable VSync, disable full sync at GX to draw down because you're only gonna need it when you gonna play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and it will help you for some people they're crashing on Mario Kart 8 um, enable use use several shaders and disable uh, this disable pre-compiler -pre shaders upscale filter keep it at binary binary and full screen scaling keep it keep expect ratio audio options keep it at the R at the moment and online uh, you can only use when you are having a physical copy of your Wii U, uh, Wii U console. With that all said, just click X and we go into the <coughs> CPU option. Click on CPU, go to mode and uh, as I told you, go not use only triple core compiler fast when you play um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Other than that, all other games use only single core recompiler fast. And what you need to do right now is selecting single core recompiler fast as I did. Go to timer, host based timer recommended, and go to efficiency and select all log logical cores. The next thing you're gonna do, go to debug. I think that's how you call it debug. Go to Precompiler shader cache. Now this one is really important. It's my fix for the most of people. The issue with uh, freezing on the title screen or crashing while you're playing the game. So the first thing you want to do, if you're having an NVIDIA GPU, or should I say in general the NVIDIA users, just keep it as it is, enable default. But if you are AMD GPU user, just go and disable as i did right now i'm gonna go again to it so you can see and keep it as is so if you are amd keep it as it is like this and i you are a, a nvidia user just enable it because i am nvidia user i'm gonna keep it enabled but once again for the amd disable ignored and you're good to go disable cpu extension don't bother with that keep it as it is MM timer accuracy, keep it 1 milliseconds and custom timer, uh, select QPC and select 1 speed. Other than that, there's nothing else to do and you are good to go when it goes to um, all the settings and uh, 
things that you're going to need to do inside of CMU 1.13.0. So with step one is done, let's hop to step two. See you there. All right. For the IMD users, I do highly recommend go to IMD, read your settings, as you might see on the screen right now, go to your CMU, EXA, and go to profile graphics and copy this exactly the settings that you see right here. Uh, go and anti analyzing, use, uh, use application settings, anti analyzing method, use multi sampling, morphologic filtering on anti-tropic filtering mode use application setting I think it's off right texture filtering high quality is high surface format optimizations on wait for vertical refresh always off open GL triple buffering on shader cache AMD optimized translation mode override application settings and then you go to maximum translation level off AMD free sync AMD optimized and the, the one at least, the last thing, frame rate target control disabled. With those uh, settings that you see right here, you will be good to go and you will be probably bypassing the most uh, glitches, crashes, and uh, you will get the most performance possible on your CMU 1.13.0. With that all said, um, let's keep going on and uh, go for the next fix. See you there. Welcome to step two. As you might see on your screen right now, you, we have three versions. We have the European version, we have the American version, and we have the Japanese version. I think there's a Korean version as well, if I'm not wrong, but I really don't remember. And it really doesn't matter because the thing that I want to address to you is another fix that my that helped some people by by my by making the research guy for, guys for you. I research a lot. Uh, uh, in the, in the, on, on the on in, on the net, and I find actually some solutions for some people that actually work, and this is why one of them. So you might thinking, what is going on here, and what how is the solution? Now, for some people to actually fix the problem with the freezing on the title screen is that they actually change the version of the game. So we're having, I think, different versions. I, for myself, I use the European version. You may be using the American version. Uh, depends on where you live. So what do I highly recommend is this, the step is to actually, if step one that I saw that you saw right before this step two, the settings on the same you didn't work for you. And try step, leave it to settings as they are on step one for your CMU emulator. And the only thing that you're gonna do on step two is actually to change the game version. As an example, if you are using the American version and it crashes on you, then try to use the European version and, and see and look if it actually fixes the problem for you. And uh, the, the and if the European and the American version didn't work for you, try the, the Japanese version. But actually, uh, it's not a good option. But I think uh, I think I you know what I mean. What I'm trying to tell you, tell you uh, as good as possible. So for my for so for me as an example, let let's I just, so, as I told you, I'm using the European version, and let's let's say. Uh, it does this problem that it is for you right now that it actually freezes on the title screen then I would actually hop to the American version down where you wait where I'm um, to the American version and uh, trying out if it's actually fixed the problem for me and doesn't crash um, where you get the games I cannot provide you with any links or any anything at all any source this is up to you where you get the games and uh, with that all said guys, I think we are done with step two and let's hop to step three. See you there. All right, welcome to step three. In order to run your CMU 1.13.0 on your PC as best as possible with any problems at all, you need to install C++ Reduce Tubble 2017 installed on your PC and you need all system drivers are one have to have to be one hundred percent up to date, and one and not least, you have to be sure that your GPU ne uh, need to support at least OpenGL 4.1. And uh, yes, I know I did hear something wrong. Need with uh, and the listen A. I don't know why I did that, but I'm not gonna 
take it out but I just want to tell you that I actually noticed that yes thank you and uh, obviously some people are gonna let let me know in the comment section anyway even I told just right now thank you very much to you that person right there so once again what you need to have on your PC you have to be you have to have C++ Restore Bootable 2017 installed you need your drivers have to be up to uh, up to date 100 percent check everything out especially the audio driver and uh, you need as well uh, your GPU has to it has to support at least OpenGL 4.1 that that's actually can run uh, same you 1.13.0 or all the other versions in journal uh, perfectly with this with step 3 we done let's hop actually to step 4 thank you see you there all right guys welcome to step four i think step four will really help you a lot specialty I, this is especially for the imd users you're gonna thank me you can thank me later but i think i i i i, I digged so hard in the internet this is not even possible pause uh, that is like you cannot dig harder to actually get a fix for mario kart 8 and uh, for the imd users this is the step four I don't think I think we're gonna get step five as well maybe but I think step four has to be the last solution to actually get your game running Mario Kart but the compromise is that you have to downgrade your your GPU driver to actually get your game running it's my this is the compromise I think it will maybe reduce your performance when it's go to other games but if you really like this spirit to play Mario Kart 8 on your, on your PC for the CMU 1.13.0 this is the last solution I think in my opinion that will actually fix your problem but let me go through so first of all guys I'm gonna leave any link uh, in the description below for any program and whatnot so don't don't even worry about that and even for this website here because this website here you're gonna love it let me read so what's what's right here is simu emulator and IMD driver issue right so known issue with IMD cards and drivers I'm gonna read all that it's not much and it will help you please stay and uh, listen because this is what's gonna help you right did I write remind, remind you a little bit of Navi <laughs> link listen all right okay Jokes by side, I'm the driver issue. If you're having, if uh, if you are having issues with Simu emulator, and have an AMD video card, then you are not alone. Some of the latest drivers from AMD have been known to cause some issues with the emulator and games. Uh, one notable game that is mentioned a lot is Mario Kart 8. What is fucking true? Sorry, I did swear right there. Mario Kart 8 with the late, latest driver Simu Emulator crashes on startup. This is the issue for you. This is the issue as well. This is what I always get from the people, especially from the IMD users. To fix, as you might see, in order to fix the issue, the solution is to downgrade to an earlier driver. Especially, guys, what you have to do, you have to downgrade to 17.1.2. This is the driver that you're gonna need to download and downgrade to. That's actually gonna fix, I think, in my opinion, um, the, the 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 crashing on the title screen. So let me keep reading here. You can download it right here, guys. As you might see, I'm not gonna click on it. You can use uh, and you can use IMD Clean Install Unit Utilities. This is this is where you you can use this. I think by to remove currently installed driver drivers cleanly, right? So there's nothing left from the newest driver and so you can down, uh, downgrade to the old driver 170.1.2 all right and this is all the one two three four five six steps that you're gonna do I think if you in, if you have a little of knowledge and you are a little bit advanced in uh, the PC world then I think that's not gonna be a big deal and that would be obviously as well tutorials on uh, YouTube I think you just search how to downgrade my uh, IMD driver or drivers in general. I gonna read everything because we're not that much. Uh, the first thing you need to do is step one: uninstall your current IMD driver and restart your computer. Easy. Download and install the driver I linked above to restart again. A link above and restart again after install. Right. Open device manager and find your GPU under display adapters and open the properties window. I think it's really not that not too hard. Click the driver, tap and roll back the driver. This 
like I told you guys, if you're really not advanced and really have to struggle with, with those kinds of information, then just Google uh, Google, and uh, it will actually help you. Google is your best friend, YouTube as well. Five, the screen will go black for a few seconds. If you try to opening the AMD control panel, it will crash. No problem in that. Try opening it again and when the when, uh, bleh. Try opening it again anyway and then when it crashes open it again and it should be on version 17.1.2. Conclusion, hopefully don't get into an early AMD drive will solve any issue you are have facing. I heard that 1.7.5 has better AMD support but as of reading this is uh, only available to Patreon members. Alright guys, this is step 4 and I really think and I really hope this is gonna actually help you because I think uh, they have right with those, the newest drivers, that's really uh, the issue obviously and uh, other things as well but as I told you, go as always, go step, pr pr try step 1 uh, on my video, uh, pause the video, check it out, did, did it work for you, stay at that, try step 2, did this work for you? Don't do anything. Go for step three. Did this? Did all those things didn't work for you? Go for step four, and I think you will be done. Other than that, guys, I really don't know. Um, but uh, yes, this is step four. And uh, of course, I think those uh, downgrading, those the most problems, guys, are for the 480 RX 480 series and the RX 580 series. And uh, that's but uh, that's. That's so you know what's what's really good. Uh, yes, with all with all that said, guys, let's hop actually to the last and uh, last actually step, step five, because you know why not from one to five. Step five, uh, uh, the solution for uh, for the cry freezing, and uh, yeah, I think we can call the day. See you there. All right, guys, let's go for step five. So step five is really easy, guys. The thing what you need to do is, if you have any. Uh, let me drink my coffee real quick guys, let me drink this shit, you this kind of good, I love coffee though, hold up. I was, I know it's kind unprofessional, but as I told you, I don't really care. So the first step 5 guys, how to fix the issue on Mario Kart 8, in case from step 1 till 4 I didn't help you out, but I think it's really gonna do, from from the bottom of my heart, is uh, use your own shader cache guys don't use any rebuild shader cache from someone else or from the internet it's uh, I do really not recommend so the, the last thing is st use your own shader cache uh, keep your uh, semi hook up to date and uh, disable any um, graphic packs that you ha might have enabled for other games the Mario Kart even disable the graphic pack for Mario Kart and uh, that should actually fix as well uh, your problem with that all saying guys I really gonna get the heck out of here I really really hope from the bottom of my heart that this guide uh, and tutorial did really help you with your issue because more than that there's really nothing else to do other than you might uh, have to uh, install a fresh copy uh, of your uh, windows and try to step again and this might do the work other than that I really don't know what else could be the issue for um, the crashing problem then actually those kinds of things that I showed you from uh, from the beginning of the video to the end that you see me right now uh, talking with you and may rambling as well I really hope Amber as well uh, the, the, it's going to help you fix your problem because you have the, the RX 580 and uh, this is to the uh, driver so you might have to downgrade your driver and I think this will fix the problem as well for you. I wish you uh, good luck all, all to you of course guys not only to Amber all of you and uh, that you that you uh, probably gonna get fixed on this guide and tutorial with this I'll say guys I gonna really get the heck out of here have yourself a good day and whatever else keep it cool and stay awesome my name is Emu from Emu Gaming and I'm freaking out of here peace